welcome to the Cook Kids. So today we are going to be making drinks, appetizers, dinners, and desserts. So first we're going to be making apple cinnamon water. So now we're going to be making healthy froyo. So you're probably like, Milky Ways are not healthy. Well, you don't really have to add Milky Ways. It just makes it have a little taste. The third recipe is basil mozzarella and tomato salad. So we are making homemade delicious barbecue wings. So let's get started. Always remember to wash your hands before you start cooking. First, we want to cut the apple into pieces. So now you're done. So first, you want to take the ice and you want to put it into the bowl. Then you're going to layer the ice with the cinnamon on top. And now you want to put water in it. Okay, perfect. So now we're just going to put the apples in the container thing. Okay, ready? So you can put a few here, but you want to put it in here and then squeeze it. So now we're just going to do that with all the apples. So we added the rest of the apples and this is what it should look like when it's done. So you want to put the top on the pitcher and you want to put it in the refrigerator for an hour. So now we're going to be making healthy froyo. You'll need three tablespoons of honey. You need two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. And a half a cup of Greek yogurt. We used Milky Ways. You also need four cups of any type of frozen fruit. So now you want to put all the ingredients in the blender. Put the cap on the blender. Put the blender on the base. And mix it! So then you're going to pour it into a freezer safe container. So now you're just going to put the container into the freezer and wait for it to be done in an hour. So now we are going to start the barbecue wings. So first you want to wash the wings. Sprinkle one teaspoon of salt into the chicken and mix the chicken together. Now sprinkle one teaspoon of garlic powder and mix it. Sprinkle half a teaspoon of sugar in the chicken and mix it. Sprinkle half a teaspoon of paprika in the chicken and mix it. Put half a teaspoon of black pepper in the chicken and mix it. Now you sprinkle one fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne in the chicken and mix it. Marinate it for half an hour. We're gonna start the basil, mozzarella, and tomato salad. Over the sink, dump the mozzarella into the thing so all the liquid gets out. And then rinse it with water. Dump the fresh mozzarella into the pan. Put the tomatoes into the um, rinse, rinse, <laughs> rinse. Yeah. And then just wash it with water and then shake it. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Make an incision into the tomatoes and then cut. So we think that this is a good amount of tomatoes, so now we're just gonna put it with the mozzarella. Clean the basil and dry it off. Chop the basil up very tiny. And now you wanna sprinkle the basil all over the tomato and mozzarella. And you're done with that part. Mix um, all the three ingredients up. Take the chicken out of the um, refrigerator and put the salad in. Now you're going to start your broiler and put it on low. I sprayed the rack and I put the chicken on. Now we put it in the broiler on low. Now you should leave the chicken in the broiler for 15 to 20 minutes. It's time for taste testing. So first we're gonna start with the apple cinnamon water. It's like, how much? <laughs> and now for decoration, 
Put the apple in the water. <laughs> no, you sit here. At least. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll let her off. refreshing especially during the summer so this is what the final product looks like whip 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 <laughs> so first we're gonna try the salad and then we're gonna do the barbecue mix. and we also have you can use any salad they look like they look like little mini marshmallows I like the way the color interplays with the textures <laughs> Very nice. Delightful. What did you say? Once you again, I've come up with new adjectives oh. because I'm, I'm running out of like, the best adjectives to say. <laughs> we don't eat yet. Okay, I'm just mixing it. Okay. You gotta wait till everybody gets their food. Oopsies. Don't take it off. Seasoned perfectly. And I don't like skin on chicken, but 
by the croissant. Very, very good. And it's got a, it's got a little bit of a bite to ah, it. So Cook, so what does that come from, that bite that I'm tasting? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask where did the recipe come from? What Online. source? Online. What source? It was I don't know. Thing. It was just some... It just told us all the ingredients we needed. Very nice. And instead of following it through, because it wanted to put us on the cookie pan and stuff, my mom helped me, like her, because I told my mom every single day before this, and she's like, just do it easy. Just put it in the oven, and that made our life easier. Oh, yeah. But this is great, great because idea. the napkins blocked well, the more, watching my mouth. The more and more you two cook, the more you'll learn how to improvise and different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, it's so delicious and luscious that I have to take another one immediately. So I well, would you guys rate this it? One. I, I would give it a 10. Yeah, I, I'm giving this a 10 myself because... I know that I'm not allowed to rate, I would give it 100 million. The, and, and it's perfectly cooked. Um, it's not overdone and it's not... Barbecue wings is my favorite. Perfectly cooked food. in the middle. Barbecue wings are my favorite food. I'm not going to like buffalo. Frozen yogurt. Oh, okay, guys, now we're doing the fro yo. Really this, was a, this meal was a total success, <gasps> girls. <gasps> what a nice idea. <laughs> it's not completely frozen. The middle is a little It'll kind of be like a, a slushy. I think once I mix like it, it's going to be a little bit. Slushy, 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 slushy. What Thank you.